What's up, guys? It is pretty early in the morning. It's six ten in the morning. Um, I just got texted by a uh, uh, friend, and she let me know. I didn't know about it, but uh, there's a, going to be a new Goodwill opening today at nine. I get off the bus a little after nine, so I'll be heading straight up there. Hopefully, there's not too many um, gamers and stuff that are heading over there but uh, we'll see um, very excited very excited I think that's where I'm gonna definitely gonna head there first today and uh, it's kind of along the line of where I hit my Goodwills in the morning so but I'll just have to reverse the route that I usually go alright see you there guys there it is ladies and gentlemen the new Goodwill it's about 9.30, about 30 minutes after they've opened. Hopefully there's some still some good stuff. Wow, guys. There's a lot of cars. A lot of cars. I don't even know if I can find a parking spot. So there's where I had to park. Here's the parking lot. Well, guys. If there's good things to be had here, I feel like I'm going to be late. Alright guys, not too, nothing too crazy in there, game wise, there was a few in there, a few that I didn't have, picked up a couple, but I was hoping to see like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, that kind of thing, mostly Xbox 360, had a couple PS2 games, uh, commons, but uh, hey, it's another good one to hit, so I'll show you uh, what I picked up in pickups. Good day so far this morning. 
We'll see if my luck continues this afternoon. What's up guys? I wanted to do this. What's up guys? On Friday, I picked up these two games. Alright, and I say games loosely. Um, I thought they were maybe PAL versions of these two DS games. And I was pretty excited to see them. You know, it has the thing here, but three, I thought that was kind of young, but anyway. Um, paid three dollars and twenty-five cents for each of these things, and the covers look pretty legit. Except, look on the back. I thought something looked weird. Recent review event for Spider-Man: Shattered Dimension. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Just couldn't put down the DS game down. Developed by Graphite. Doesn't say anything about the game and. If you look, the pictures are kind of low quality, but they still weren't that bad. And then I looked, opened it up, and it looks like it has a manual and everything. Okay, both of them do. And it does have some decent pictures in here of this. There's a general attack button to string together combo gets pretty stale by itself like what this is really weird but the the pictures are great the wording sucks and then of course the back you should usually have something on there like by Nintendo or something so the DS uh, game looks pretty legit but it's a little bit bigger I try to fit it in my DS just to see if it pl played anything uh, it does not, but there's a, supposed to be a number here that go, you see on the copper. It does not have that, and apparently the, the stickers aren't as smooth, but it, this one looks pretty well done. This, these, both of these are really, really well done fakes, except for the um, graphics. The graphics, or the, uh, the wording, the graphics on this one look a little stretched. Each episode of Batman Brave and the Bold. Really strange. But, um, yeah, I kind of got burned on that a little bit. But I'm returning them. Within seven days, you can return them. Um, the only problem is they might be putting it on a card. But I'll use it. But just just as a heads up, guys, I fell for it. I thought these were PAL, PAL exclusives. Not PAL exclusives, but PAL games. Not NTSC. And uh, it fooled me. So, yeah, be careful. All right, guys, just walked out of the Goodwill, exchanged the two fake games, and actually the DS games they put out today were, um, I picked up three more, and they're actually cheaper, a dollar cheaper per game. So when I made the difference, I only had to pay 25 or something additional cents. So not too bad, and they're pretty decent titles. All right, see you back in the game room. Hey guys, welcome back to the game room. Alright, so real quick, um, on Wednesday, I went to the first Goodwill and found two games, and then I went to three other thrift stores, or four other thrift stores, I think, after that. Didn't find anything. But, uh, found some decent titles here. Found, uh, Star Trek Conquest for PlayStation 2. 
Got another seat in there. All right, this looks good on this one. And then I found gun for the GameCube. And that is complete as well. Those were $5.27 after tax, so two for five. All right, so that was Wednesday. Then Thursday, I, I mentioned in the video that uh, a new Goodwill opened, another one. Went over there, and it was just packed. I got a, uh, <laughs> here's another pickup. They gave me one of these when I went in there, so pretty cool. Nice canvas tote bag here. But, uh, didn't find a lot. Uh, I was, ex I really was expecting more, but I still found a couple decent titles here. Got, uh, the two-pack here, Lego Indiana Jones. The original Adventures and the Kung Fu Panda uh, double pack. Both of those games are in there. And I got uh, Tenchu Z, which uh, happy to pick that up for pretty cheap. I think it's usually like fifteen, sixteen dollar game or something. I don't know, but uh, those were two for five, so not a bad deal for those was really hoping to find some older stuff, but I did later on. <laughs> Alright, so then I went to uh, a couple more Goodwills, I guess the third Goodwill here. I found three GameCube games, but they had $5.25 on them. But uh, I was able to... The lady, she was kind of tired when she rung me up, so she actually rung me up for not even DVD prices. She rung them up for CD prices. Didn't even look at the five dollars and twenty-five cents on here. But um, I got Dragon Ball Z Budokai with GameCube complete, as well as Pokemon Channel. I heard this isn't all. Or I, actually, I heard, I heard it's not a bad game, just not a great game. But, uh, Pokemon Channel, no manual. But, uh, it should have cost me over $10 for both of these, but I got both of them for, like, $3.25. So, pretty decent, uh, for that price. I don't know where my receipt went to, but... Somewhere. Alright, then... I went to a Goodwill near me and uh, found Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I already have this one, so I will be flipping this for trade. Uh, pretty decent shape here. And it's funny, I didn't notice until I did my PlayStation video recently, but uh, I have this already for the PlayStation, but now I have it for the PlayStation 2. Inuyasha! The Secret of the Cursed Mask. And it is just the disc, though. But still, when I can come across an RPG for cheap, I'm all over it. Uh, those were two for five. And I got these Super Nintendo games for three twenty-five dollars apiece. I passed on Toy Story because I already had it. And I passed on the Jeopardy games because it's Je just Jeopardy. But I got uh, Timon and Pumbaa. Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games. 325. Wordtress. And Pitfall the Mayan Adventure. Nothing to write home about. Nothing like an Earthbound or Chrono Trigger or. I mean, I already have those, but I, I wish I could find like Secret of Mana or something like that, but. Yeah, I'll take it. Super Nintendo games. And then, later that night, hit a couple more Goodwills, didn't find anything. Then the last one, I found these. Uh, found Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. Of course, that's complete. And this one had been sitting there for a couple weeks. 
and I passed on it, but it had the right color sticker last week. It was yellow, or this week it was yellow. So I got Outlaw Tennis, normally 325, but I got half that price. So and that is complete. So that cost me five dollars and fourteen cents for the two of those. And then uh, Friday, I went by. And that's when I talk about those DS games that I found that were not legit. I that's the first time I've ever run into some games that were fake. So uh, I was able to return those and get these the, the other day. Got um, Lego Indiana Jones two. All right, that's complete. This has been a Lego Indiana Jones kind of day week here. We got uh, Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games as well as Namco Museum. That has a little bit of label damage but it plays. I tested all three of them and they work great. I also found I picked this up I mean I don't have the first two yet either, but decided to buy it while it was pretty cheap. Got a Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, for the PS3. It was in really nice shape too, so I just couldn't pass up on it. For 325, no, yeah, 325. And these two PSP games were 225 apiece. Got Untold Legends, like an RPG for the uh, system. I don't know if it's good or not, but got that. Complete. Don't find too many PSP games these days, so when I find decent ones, uh, I'll pick them up. And then got Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. That is complete. It has the uh, map and manual and stuff, so pretty cool. And then the last thing that I found, this was actually the only thing I was going to buy initially, but then I saw the stuff in the showcase. I kind of peeked in the showcase first, didn't really notice anything at first, and then I went back to the back and found this, but uh, very happy to find this. It is a Wii, um, what is it, Pro controller, but uh picked that up for... I'm showing up 325. So, and I, they, I didn't keep the receipt. So it cost about, I think it cost me about sixteen dollars or something for all those. So, not bad. So pretty cool haul this week. And uh, yeah, till next time, Power Player Paul, and I'll see you later.